Auto Generation of EVA Bill In this presentation, we will discuss that how we can automatically generate EVA Bill from Visi. EVA Bills can be generated automatically from Visi without even going to EVA Bill portal. This feature is available only with the standard or enterprise edition and that too when you have an active busy license subscription. That is if you have an active busy license subscription BLS then only you can automatically generate EV bill from busy. However, if you do not have an active BLS uh, subscription then you can use the JSON as per government template or plain excel options to generate the EV bill. So first of all here we will discuss that how you can register for GSP on EV bill portal. For this, we are going to eWebill portal, eWebill gst.gov.in, clicking the login button, specify the credentials, click login button. Now a screen is appearing. In the screen at the left hand side, click registration option and then click for GSP option. Now it's showing your registered mail ID and mobile number. Click the send OTP button and then you will receive an OTP on your registered mobile number. Enter that OTP in the enter OTP field and click the verify OTP button. Now next screen is appearing here you need to click the add new option. Registration through you will select GSP option then GSP name. Here we are selecting the GSP name as Webtel Electrosoft Private Limited. Then it's displaying the username and in the re-enter username field also it's displaying the username. If you want to add any suffix to the username, then you can specify it in the username and re-enter username data fields. Next, you need to specify the password, then re-enter the password and click add button. Now it's showing that account has been created successfully, which means you have successfully registered for this particular GSP that is Webtel Electrosoft Private Limited. It's showing on the screen also. Now we will register for another GSP also. We are selecting the GSP name as Pinnacle Finserve Advisors Private Limited. Again, if you want to specify any suffix, then you can specify the same. Enter password and then re-enter the password. Now again, it's showing that account has been created successfully. On the screen also, you can see the name of the two GSP for which you have registered. It is Pinnacle Finserve Advisors Private Limited and Webtel Electrosoft Private Limited. Main advantage of registering for multiple GSP is that in case there is any problem in one of the GSP, Busy will automatically switch to another GSP and will generate EV bill smoothly, that is without any error. So till now we have registered for GSP, multiple GSPs we can say. Now we will specify the GSP user ID and password in Busy. For this we are opening the Busy application, we are going to administration, configuration, features options, GST web tab. Specify yes in the EV bill required data field and click the config button. Here you need to specify yes in the enable auto generation of EV bill data field. Then you need to specify the GSP user ID and password for Webtel Electrosoft Private Limited and for Pinnacle FinServe Advisors Private Limited. We have registered for these two GSP so you need to specify the GSP here that is the GSP user ID and password you have created on the portal. Till now we are done with our configuration part. Now we'll enter a transaction and generate EV pin. For this we are going to transaction sales add option. Specify header related details of the voucher. Next we are selecting the item and specifying item related details. Apply the required bill summary and click save button. Now a transport details window is appearing in which we'll select the transport. Specify the GRRR number, GRRR date, vehicle number, station to place, pin code. In the EV bill required field, we'll specify yes. Then distance in kilometer, mode of transport, that is the mode uh, of transport through which goods will be delivered. Then the subtype, you can select the select automatically option and basically will automatically judge which subtype this transaction belongs to. Then is uh, transaction type, you can select uh, the option as per your requirement. Here you can see EV bill data field is blank because we have not yet generated the EV bill. Now click the OK button. Then Busy is asking, do you want to generate EV bill? Yes, we want to generate EV bill. Next, four options are appearing: automatic, JSON, as per government template, and plain Excel. We are selecting the automatic option, and then report options are appearing. Click OK button. Now it's asking that check for possible errors or view and generate EV bill. It is always recommended that you first check for any possibility of error. So we are clicking the check possible errors button. You can see on the screen this report is blank. 
which means our data is perfectly fine. There is no error in the data. Now we will click the view and generate eWable button. It's showing eWable details. You can cross check these details and then click the generate eWable button. On the screen, you can see it's showing that eWable has been generated and it's also showing the eWable number. Now, next it's asking, do you want to print eWable? Yes, we want to print the eWable and on the screen, you can view the preview of the eWable. Next, this is asking, do you want to print sales invoice? If you want to print the sales invoice in standard format, then you can click the yes button. eWable number that is generated for this voucher will automatically be updated in the voucher. For this, we are opening the voucher in modify mode, clicking the save button, transport details window is appearing and here you can see in the eWable number, the number is automatically updated. So you are not required to manually update that number in the voucher. Till now, we have discussed about generating eWable for a single voucher. Now, we will discuss generation of eWable for multiple vouchers. For this, we'll go to Transactions, GST Miscellaneous Utilities, eWable Management, Generate Print eWable. Again, it's asking Automatic, JSON, as per Government Template or Plain Excel. We are selecting the Automatic option. Specify various filtration criteria. Here, an option is provided. Exclude vouchers already having eWable number. If you enable this option, then the vouchers for which EV bill is already generated will not be shown in the list. Click the load list button. Here two vouchers are appearing. Select the vouchers for which you want to generate the EV bill. If you want, you can update transport details also. You can check EV bill details. Now here we are directly clicking the generate EV bill button. Again, report options window is appearing. Click OK button. Then check for possible errors. Our data is perfectly fine, so we are clicking the proceed with automatic generation of eWebill option. It's showing that eWebill has been generated for two vouchers as we have selected the two vouchers. Now coming back to the main screen, you can see here in front of two vouchers, eWebill number, eWebill date, everything is updated. From this screen also, you can print the invoices, you can print the eWebill also. So this is the process of generating multiple eWable number in one go which means by clicking a single button we have generated eWable number for multiple vouchers so this is a process of auto generation of eWable from busy so after going through this presentation you would be able to easily generate eWable numbers from busy for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel